The Last Child, for those of the, those who read it, will remember it's about this, this really remarkable young boy, Johnny, who has this unbelievably difficult childhood uh, and then somehow finds a means to rise above it. And at the end of the book, we see him somewhat whole and in a wholesome environment. When I finished that book, I, I became intrigued with the question of, the, of uh, what would happen to a child in very dire circumstances that was not given a soft landing, that was not given an easy way out of that desperate childhood. What kind of man would that child become if, if the desperation continued? And so uh, it got me thinking about uh, the setup for Iron House. You have a number of characters that are quite interesting, and if, it, if the plot weren't so driving, I would say, is this a character-driven novel rather than a plot-driven novel? Well, it, it's so funny that you say that, because when I set out to write the book, I, here's what I said to myself, you know, I'm going to write a really hard charging plot driven novel because I can do it quickly, it'll be easy. Um, and in the back of my mind I, I knew that there would be elements of what I've done in the past that sort of blend in and, and for those that haven't read my books I, I, I'm very deeply moved by my characters. And all of my books to date have been about normal people trying to find the strength to deal with terrible but abnormal circumstances. Okay, I mean that's true in, in Iron House, I mean in um, King of Lies, Downriver, Last Child, they're, they're regular folks. The challenge in this book was how to, to build a convincing internal landscape for a guy who for 20 years has been a stone cold killer. How do I make a stone cold killer redeemable in the eyes of the reader to the point that they were rooting for him, that they care for him? And that is all about motivation. It's all about what made him what he is. I mean, this is a good guy who made a hard choice at a young age to protect his brother, and he's lived uncomplainingly with the consequences.